What is up, everybody? This is FNH News Bruce and Jose with a brand new video to talk about how to make a good YouTube ad on Google Ads. So this is one of my tricks or items that I do to like get my videos out there, basically promote them, get some views, or at least to start the views rolling. So you know it's more in the search engine, and a lot of other people can look for it and find them. And I'm going to basically show you how I do it, and just yeah, just give you an example. And if you want to like utilize it, use it in your business. Obviously, I would I I would actually if you're a new YouTuber, especially I would recommend you to give this a shot. And then I would also recommend you to get those free Google hundred fifty dollars ads. If you spend hundred fifty dollars within thirty days, they give you another hundred fifty. So you'll have a free hundred fifty to use. They used to be a bit different. They used to just straight up give you hundred dollars for ads. But I'm assuming a lot of people just started making like new Google accounts, and then they started just like keep they kept making new google accounts and getting a hundred dollars and obviously google was like okay this is insane <laughs> so you have to spend 150 to get free 150 but we're gonna make a brand new video a brand new uh, campaign i should say to show you how go i personally use google ads how it works for me and what you can do to make it work for you as well um so this is going to be strictly video related not other types of ads like if you have a website or not getting conversion getting sales it's not related to that this is more of video views and get your search items more in there so i'm going to use my ebay video as an example i put it up like a week, well, like two weeks ago yeah about like two weeks ago february 3rd um you can see it has like 600 views 10 likes it's still it's and i did not promote this one um you can see like only a few of my like ebay haul that's like only tag i have that's like doing decent but everything else is fairly stale um and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do and how we're going to promote this video so i'm actually going to god oh, dang it that was not what i was trying to click so i'm going to can i get the share link here I don't think so. I don't think so. I didn't want to turn on the video, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let me get the share link. Okay, so now we're going to start. So first thing is after you make your account, um, you just need to sign in over here. So you do go to, you just write new campaign and this page comes up where I am. It's weird, the new Google ad ones is a bit weird, but they make you do the new ones. So essentially what I used to do before, and now they tweaked it up, so I tried different versions of it. So there's three types of videos ads, ads you can have. So one is in product and brand consideration, which encourages people to explore your product or services. Um, you get you do video and in video there's the different types I've never done ads we sequence but then we have your regular and I've never done shopping either so there's standard con considerations for drive views engagement and consideration and the other one is this is the new one that they started recently is brand awareness and reach and initially I used to do it in here but they put the type of ads which was that standard awareness and reach which is essentially this to product and brand consideration and again i'm going to walk you through all of them i'll just do one of them because we're just going to set it up and i'm going to show you exactly what i do and how i do it but this is just to set up portion of this on how it works so in this one they added new features so this one is actually pretty interesting now this is more of again reach and engage viewers on youtube and across the web so we're going to actually go with this one just to show you how it works there's also display ads as well but i would prefer video ads because that's how you'll get views you'll get more into the search engine your keywords will be more highly ranked because that's what we're going to aim for again we, you'll see in this video so there's the skippable in-stream drive reach with skippable in-stream ads so essentially this is when you see those videos where you, people can skip them for five seconds like those are these ads that will pop up this is the one where people usually cleverly market it and say, hey, don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll tell you what to do or how to make a billion dollars, something like some crap like that. <laughs> and this, this is the one they pay, people essentially use. I actually use this one as well. Um, I just throw my videos in there because it actually gives you the most views. Most of my view rate ratio is about 50 to 60 percent until people skip it. And again, my videos aren't 30 seconds or a minute. As you see, my videos are, I would say my average time of my videos are about probably like seven to eight minutes. I'm trying to increase it to 10 um after that i got approved for monetization but that was what my standard time was for my videos about seven or eight minutes and people actually watch it so i actually got a good amount of view time from that as well so again if you're a new youtuber this is one of the best places to get subscribers through this and one of the best ways to hit views and your hour watch time again it takes money to make money this is one of the faster ways to go down this route as you saw my channel got it literally approved within well, I shouldn't say within 30 days, but I had reached all the benchmarks less than 30 days and it got approved in 30 days. So by like two months, I had everything done. So just so this is one of the ways I did it. And I didn't even spend a considerable amount of money. You can only you can put in five to ten dollars per video or ad, I should say, and you can go from there and only do it to your top videos that you'll think will go viral or will go keep getting traction and views over 
the t period of time, something like a how-to tutorial video, uh, such as the evil one I'm about to do, just to give you an ex example. There's also bumper ads, as you see normal ones, where people, you see a bumper ad, those are more like people will click it, as you can see, see, reach people on YouTube across the web with six second bumper ads. This, I've never tried it yet, I do want to, but I've never tried this one yet to see how good of a portion or how much money would I actually get from this, so I've never tried it. I actually, again, I, they just started doing these new items, and I want to utilize them and tr test them out. The non skippable one, one is basically you up to 15 seconds. Uh, this I would say is more for like those people that I literally told you about. If you have a sale or a conversion that you're trying to do, or a market or a product that you sell, that I would I would advise you to do that. There's Outstream ads, which is designed for mobile. Again, I don't do those either. I guess this was more for people who are like trying to market against a, to a specific community, a specific target type. And then ad sequence, which is completely new, and I have no clue how that one works. I didn't even actually. It's something that does not correlate with me at all, or probably won't for a while. <laughs> so I'm completely ignoring that. The basic one is the skippable in-stream ad, or the initial one that I told you of. This this is one the standard conversion consideration, which drives views, engagement, and consideration. Um, we're going to go with just this one for now. The skippable in-stream drive reach with skippable in-stream ads. This is the new one that I started using this. I I didn't use to use this initially. I used the other one first, but again, both of them work. They have their ups and downs, and we're going to go with this one for now. So I'm going to call this eBay. And the campaign, I'm going to do a campaign total of $5. Uh, I'm gonna do as so usually I set it up for like a week time frame. So let's just do that. I'm gonna do up till Friday. Uh, yeah, up till Friday is fine. So we are doing it's target CPM since you can't change it because of what the specific type of ad I chose. Initially, what I used to do was target CP, uh, it was viewable CPM. Now it's target CPM. Oh, actually, was it? No, it was view. It was maximum CPV. That's what I initially used. So this one is cost per view. Now it's cost per impression. So that's why I said it tweaks up a bit. You can choose where you want it. But again, just because you chose that specific ad type, it already tells you this is all you can do it on. And, and YouTube videos is obviously, it's already chosen. So you have to get one. Language, again, it depends on what type of videos you, you're making. I always opt into English. I don't want other people to like see the videos that it doesn't pertain to them. Um, Again, this is eBay. It depends on the video as well. If it was like how to get your Instagram account back, I would have did the whole world, but English. So, you know, people understand what I'm doing. I did eBay. You know what? America is usually the best place to go for that because this is where like the largest market is where people buy and sell. Um, if it was Amazon, I probably would have done some European countries as well, Canada. Uh, eBay, I know it's heavily focused in America. I don't know if a lot of out of like countries, other countries use it. I've been to like parts of Europe where I've seen people use it, like even like India and whatnot. People do use that um, for, for Amazon. Even not so familiar, so but so to be in my comfort zone. And again, you're supposed to do more research on this specific type. Like, where is your market audience? Where you want to target them for? They might they like Amazon is a thing in Europe. You might not even or in Japan. Maybe you don't want to market them. Maybe you just want your American audience there. So uh, this is uh, this is always annoying. So we're gonna keep it to the U.S. Um, inventory you can keep a standard it, it gives you the most recommendations again this goes more into the um, complex type the this if you want to exclude it from all these diff different things your choice um, and again we're gonna keep I, I usually name them all the same thing um, audience I usually always go to this age group because this is I keep it I, I, the unknown I sometimes keep I don't um, the income obviously again if you look at the the way it works we're trying to go for the lower 50% income, not the top 10% or all those different things based off the video. If it was, again, Instagram account, I probably would have kept everyone. Who cares what their income level is? Everyone can get hacked. Anyone can lose their account. So that one can go to anyone. The parents, I usually don't care. I feel like that doesn't pertain to my video as much. So this is where the interesting portion comes from, where the keywords are. So I use all the ads or all the keywords I plugged in over here. And I'm sorry I skipped audience, but I'm gonna get right into it. And I just paste it, and and I basically I, you have to get rid of the commas and enter it. It's a bit annoying, but this is how I do it. And there's another trick I do afterwards, which I'm gonna show you in part of this video. So let me just do this, the annoying part. And again, once these the, the, these are the keywords, if someone searches the ad will pop up on your video on sorry, sorry someone else's videos and again you got 
promoted for that keyword so it helps you rank better with the keywords due to this so this is one of the nice things that i like about this uh i, I get rid of the channel because i know no one's searching the channel my name yet <laughs> it may eventually but not at this moment so that's how i get all my keywords in again they do have suggestions you can put in something here a website or a product and it will suggest it the audience um this gets a bit tricky because it depends on what it is if it's like a video game it's easy to do if it's something like um like a product related still easy to do when it's like something like ebay even if i try to type ebay i may get something like a shopper but i'm not trying to really go for shoppers i'm going more for an entrepreneur if that makes sense sorry not entre i don't even know how to spell entrepreneur entre ah dang it um let's see if this works or you could keep it blank you also there's another option at the bottom where it will tell you what your best bet is so here this works well starting a business or recently started a business so you that's why i said it gets a bit like weird on where you're trying to go from or you can and you can also try to target your audience that you think will be starting this a lot of college students sometimes even high school and people who just graduated and got a job they are the types of people who would be doing this or searching these types of videos um this is where i was saying it says topics now what is it over here um, most of the times I usually do type something and it pops up, but I could not all the time. So the topic, as you can see over here, it doesn't really come up. I would say it's more of, it is, it's a shopping portal. So you can say in this sense, but again, it, it drove down the thing significantly. Let's see if I can do online shopping. Computer's glitching a little. Shopping didn't work. I want to keep it off for now because there's, I could do finance but it might get too much yeah it's okay well we'll just keep it down for now the placements is obviously i want it over here it can go to apps it can be in videos websites youtube channels this is all on youtube so this is where the interesting part comes up i used to do like i said when it was cpv i used to just do a penny or mpv i should say but over here it doesn't oh crap sorry it doesn't always work that way so let me just get the because i like to put the, this is the first thing i, I like to put in only because it's so much easier to like then get the whole this to work so if i put a dollar see it says it's not going to work if i put a dollar well i can't put 15 dollars either it's too much nope let's see if 70 works nope 75 80 nope does two dollars work nope does three dollars work that sucks three dollars doesn't work either That sucks. I feel like I have too little keywords, or my strategy is a bit too little. Let me see if I uh, can make this 100%. Nope. Okay. This isn't going to work, so it's fine. I'm going to keep it at five dollars. It was going to give me like an impression of how many impressions I was going to get and how large, how much my CPM was going to end up being. So that kind of sucks right now that I can't do it. So that's fine. I will not keep it at five dollars, though. I will keep it at $1.75. This is what I usually average with and I go for. Uh, let me see, maybe I can increase my campaign total to 10. Oh, that's horrible. Ah, dang it, I know why. Uh, this is going to suck. Uh, I, I can tell you why it's doing that. The keywords I have are fairly competitive, so it's going to cost a lot of money to do them hence why it's saying that which is fine it's not that big a deal i'm going to show you the other trick i was speaking of to give you guys a perspective of how this works and what's the best way to like go against it so as you can see the campaign is done i created it as you can see ebay is created now the specific item i was speaking of hopefully it shows up in this one and i know it doesn't work for all of them but it probably will is just i'm going to give you the perspective here so you go to keywords and it did work by the way you go to keywords and dang it you go to keywords you click the plus sign this is right after you create the the campaign once you click that plus sign all these different ads uh, sorry keywords over here pop up all you do is all add all ideas and you'll have another whole bunch of listing of keywords show up and then once you do that you press save and they all get added here and then you'll see it gives you like a good understanding and perspective like oh are these worth it are these getting 
like are they are you competitive how much views are you getting how much money is each specific keyword making and it gives it gives you a good understanding of like how it's working i usually try to do that over here then obviously you have like your total audiences your keywords your demographics who you're targeting your landing pages your videos all the different things as you can see so basically yeah this was my video on how i set up the ads they usually end up doing fairly well like i said this is the new item that i have been trying to like focus on and trying to promote it more because it, it, some of them end up doing really good and give me more for my money's worth some of them they underperform and again this is all highly keyword targeted and that can vary like you saw if i even had ten dollars cpm then even then i was getting only 10 views because a lot of these keywords are very highly ranked so it's hard to compete with all these different keywords so yeah <laughs> again a lot of those different factors do come into play but um yeah overall i do hope you guys like found this like uh found it useful if you want i can show you how to make the other one as well you can let me know in the comment section below i can do the other specific ads i can even try banner ads with you guys and show you performances how it does but yeah let me just know your thoughts in the comment section below and i can go down that route but overall if you like the video give it a thumbs up it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and other than that fnh out Peace.